Hello dear friends, welcome back on the tutorial from the CADCAM. Today is the next tutorial from the Enix CAM and uh, we will see the, how to remove the, the overstock material in the prismatic elements using the planar milling and as well as the, the profile milling. Uh, so uh, if you remember, this is our the, was the workspace from the tutorial day of the 11. And uh, we made uh, this kind of planner mill, uh, rough milling in order to remove the, this, the, the material in the, this part of the workpiece. And we made the planner profile, the finishing operation that is to remove the, the material is to remain it after the, the planner milling, after the, the, this process after the, this process so the planner mill was a rough operation so then we made the finishing operation to remove the material here just uh, i would uh, like to the simulate it here to see the, the our the the previous uh, tutorial so in order to the, uh, see here the select this one and the uh, here the go to the verify the tool pass and just uh, i would like to simulate here to see the what was our the, the final result from the previous tutorial. We was the removing the, this material here with a rough operation with the the planner milling. We used here the tool with the diameter of the six millimeter. So uh, let me the speed up the process here just to see the here. You see the material is the remaining here on the walls of the, this pocket. So because it is the roughing operation. So after this roughing operation, we perform the finishing operation. That is the called the, the profile milling. This one, so you see, uh, the material is the, the removed totally. Now here you see the material is the remained after this operation on the walls of the, the total the workpiece here the, the stock you see the blue line the the yellow is our the workpiece we should be the obtained here and the, now we will see the how to remove the such a, the overstock of the material on the outside of the workpiece using the planner milling and the profile milling finishing as well so Let's press OK to exit from here. So uh, now I would like to remind also the, the about the workpiece condition. So let's go here, the geometry view, open the, this one. OK, close this one, double click to the workpiece. So this was, was our the workpiece, you see. Uh, OK. And uh, uh, this was our the stock value. So let me show here. Uh, so this is our the stock value from the top side and uh, we just uh, removed it uh, here just uh, simulated it now our the goal is to remove the stock value you see in the in the sides of the, our the material here in the uh, here as well and if you look uh, from the this side to remove the stocks as well from the this side so the i think the stock was the the two millimeters let me check it here yes correct this was the two millimeter from the both both sides of the, our the material so we have to remove the, this uh, stock value so here also this is our the zero point here we already the the located our the zero point reference point here now uh, here we use the tool for the six millimeter for the previous operation and uh, we will use the tool for the this operation to remove the stock uh, the tool diameter with the 10 millimeter yes i in the advance i created the tool here so with the diameter of the 10 millimeter so if you see my the previous tutorials it is the easy the how to create the tool and we create the tool is the flat tool and mill so uh, without any uh, radius in the lower radius zone so press ok so we will use the this tool so now is the we will go here the operation so this was the first operation second operation and now we will create the next operation just here go here to the create operation and in the type we will use the mill planner and uh, from the operation subtype we will use here the 
for the beginning for the roughing operation, the planner mill to remove the material on the outside surface. So select the, the planner mill. It is the user for the roughing operation. And uh, in the location, the subtypes select here in the program, here this program. The tool is to select the tool here. We have the two two options. So we will select in this case the tool, the diameter of the 10 millimeter. And the geometry, the select is the workpiece because it's important because the, if you select the, here the workpiece, the system that automatically organize the, the, the material the, as well as the stock as well. So because it's important and the, here the method select for the beginning for this operation is the roughing operation. Then we will follow with the finishing operation. Here you can define the name of the operation here. Uh, let's uh, keep it as a planner mill one and just press OK. And you will be the forward the, to the dialog box of the planner mill. Here, the, what is the important is to, for the beginning here, the specify the part boundary in the planner mill and the, you have to specify the floor as well. So it is two important parameters for the, this operation. So let's go with the specification of the part boundary and click the, this one. And you can specify the part boundary by the several options by the faces, corners, points, and the, the boundaries as well. So uh, it is the very the useful to use the in this case curves. So we will use the curves to specify the part boundary. So select the curves here, and the, here the it should be the better to be the single curves. And uh, let's uh, define here the curves for the boundary. So you see here. The, this is the first boundary, this first curve, this edge, select the four edges of the order rectangle. So it is the selected as a boundary. And here it should be the closed system. And uh, here the tool side, there is two options inside and outside here. Uh, in the, our the cases, keep it uh, outside because the, it means that tool will be the outside of the this boundary, so to remove the outside of the, the material to the this boundary. If you would like to remove the inside material, in this case, you will specify here the inside. Now, in our the cases, it is outside because it is important to define the this one. Okay, because the, if you the mistake here, they made the mistake, so the system will not work. So here you have to specify the plane. This is the upper plane you have to specify the, for the for the order here. Go to specify and the, here to specify the plane. Now the hour, the upper plane is the, this one. So you see it is the highlight and not the, this one because the, the, the material already the removed the, here. So you have to specify the starting plane to remove the material. So the, this is the hour, the plane. So it is the selected and just press OK. So we specified our the boundary, and uh, if you the press here the display, you see the boundary is still created here. Is the, the displaying? So this is our the part boundary for the this operation. Now is the uh, next important operation is to specify the floor area, and uh, here uh, you have to select the, this one, and uh, you have to specify the floor area, which means that well, how many the, the distance you would like to remove. And in this case, we would like to remove the until the this face. So select the floor as so this one that selected the plane and just press OK. You can go here and the press the, this one to see the floor area. You see the floor area, the plane is represented. So here, uh, the, so we can keep the other parameters. So it is too important. And also the, the, the here, that the geometry should be the selected workpiece. Here, the tool is already selected. It's a tool diameter here. And uh, you can uh, change the tool here. You can create a tool by yourself here, or uh, you can change the edit the tool here. So now we will keep it here. Tool axis along the z-axis, so it's correct. So our the method is roughing operation. Here, what is the importance? The cut button should be the profile. So it's because we are the making the profile operation. So outside surface, and uh, here it is okay for the tool flat uh, is the the percentage of the fifty percent, and the, here the cut level you have to specify the cut level. So press the cut level, and uh, the cut depth is cut level. Let's keep it one and press okay. 
And here you can uh, keep the, the non-cutting parameter by default, so it automatically the defines the optimal non-cutting parameters here in this operation. Just press OK. And also you can specify the feed rates and speed by yourself. The manual just the press here the feed rates. And here you can uh, activate this one and make the right here the the spindle speed as a 1000 and it depends on the characteristics of the tool, what kind of tool is the using and it depends on the characteristic itself of the tool library. And just uh, here that uh, just press the calculate and you did the surface speed and the feed per it will be calculated automatically and press OK. So uh, we are the ready the, with the all operations just they go here the generate the press it to see the the tool pass you see the profile the milling the uh, obtainer the roughing operation so planner milling and uh, you can go here the, to verify to see the result and uh, go here the dynamic three the dynamic you can uh, play with this animation speed uh, you can just press the play to see the result, you see the material is started to remove the, from the outer surface of the workpiece to two millimeter from the all the four the sides. The, unfortunately, this is the roughing operation. You see the material is the, still the remaining little material on the surfaces. So we need to follow the some finishing operation after this uh, operation, after this uh, roughing operation. So the process is the simulation is to finish it. Now you can press OK. I just uh, press OK again. Here you see that this operation is to obtain it. This one you see is to generate. Now we'll uh, create again the one more operation is, uh, for the finishing operation after this planner mailing. So create operation again here. In this case, we will follow the planner profile after the always. So after the planner mail, we will follow the planner profile toward the finishing operation. So select in this case the planner profile. And the same location should be the program. Uh, so we can use the same tool at the end mail with a diameter of the 10 millimeter. So it depends on the, the how many tools available in your the, the tool set. So you can the, define the other tools. Here the define the workpiece important. Now the method is the finishing because we will make the finishing operation. So here you can define the name as well. So let's keep it like this and just press OK. So uh, here also the you will see the dialog box for the planner profile. It is almost the, the similar with the previous one, but uh, in this case, also we have to specify the two important parameters for the properly operation of the this uh, this milling operation. Firstly, we have to specify the part boundaries as well, and as well as the floor. So let's specify the boundary. Press this one. The same way we will define the part boundary by the curves. In this case, it is the very efficient way. So let's start to specify the uh, the curves so uh, let's keep it as a the, here the single curve and the start to press to the edge of the rectangle step by step so and the first one so here at the same way it should be the outside with the, the previous one because uh, we are the removing outside material and uh, here the select and specify again and specify the upper plane here the this one and the press OK. Now the same way we have to specify the floor as well. So go to the floor specification tool and uh, specify the floor, the bottom part of the your workpiece and press OK. So they go to the isometric view and you can display here the, the part boundary. You see the the line is created boundary and the, the floor as well. You see the plane is created. Now we are ready with the here the, in the geometry tool. Now we will specify the, the, the tool itself. It is already selected. The tool axis, let's check if that axis is correct. You can close it. The, the operation, the pass setting is the finishing operation. And here 
the the cut uh, depth is the constant you can define by the user defined uh, you can uh, make some operation as well let's keep it uh, the constant and make it one millimeter the same way uh, you can define the feet weights and the speeds what we have done the, the previous operation so let's uh, put it uh, that's the approximate here the 1000 and uh, calculate here that's okay you can uh, keep the, the cutting parameters and the non-cutting parameter by default system so uh, because it may it will make the optimized solution and just uh, generate the toolpath in this case you see that the same toolpath is created along the outside of the, our the workpiece however it is the finishing operation to see that the, our the result go to the verify tool and the go to the, the play the our the simulation to see the, the result you see uh, the the final material is the, here the appearing with the yellow so we are the removing the the final the overstock on the outside surface of our the workpiece with the finishing operation so the dear the the subscribers this is the, the, the how to use the the profile milling and the planner milling to remove the outer surface of the workpiece so in the next tutorial uh, the, we will see the how to obtain the such a pockets uh, rectangular pockets and the circular pockets in the profile milling and we will see how to just uh, make the finishing of the walls and the floors as well as, uh, in the this kind of operation so press ok and uh, press ok here so this is our the four operation so thank you very much and see you on the next tutorials